You know, as the legal battles play out, the local community is still dealing with the impact from the collapse of the bridge. Yeah, WMR2 News' Jeff Morgan spoke with local business owners about life after the collapse. He joins us now, Jeff. What did they have to say? Well, Elizabeth, they say that this has been a difficult uh, six months. They say people are constantly talking about this, and it's not just that familiar view that was changed when the bridge collapsed. It's been nearly six months since the key bridge fell into the Patapsco River. While people in the communities of Sparrows Point and Dundalk adapt to the new way of life, there's constant reminders of the way things used to be. So it takes me an hour and a half one way to get here when it used to take 37 minutes. Alex Del Sordo took over the Hard Yacht Cafe 11 days before the bridge collapsed. I only know this reality now. Right? So we only know what running this business is with a bridge gone. Comparing last year's revenue to this year's, it's down 9%. So much of that has to do with the bridge. The folks that we would typically tend to, Pasadena, Annapolis, that would come here up on the weekends, they're not driving through the tunnel. They're not taking 895, which would take them an hour and a half to two hours to get here. Off North Point Boulevard in the shadow of 695 sits Costas Inn, a staple of the community for five decades. Pete Trantophilus says business is down 30% since the bridge collapsed. Those folks will come once or twice, but after experiencing that traffic, you know, they're not coming. So it's just been... Uh, it's been, a, it's been a big impact for us. He has workers who have seen their commute to work triple overnight. Even our employees, I've got employees that live in Pasadena, and that 22, 25 minute drive now is an hour and a half for them, and they're dedicated, they're still here, they're still coming, but when they're leaving 12 o'clock at night, 12.30 at night, no, it's, it's not an easy ride home. The business owners know this new way of life is here to stay. They're looking at 2028, four years, it's a long time. It's a long time and you, you can't make up for that loss. The county and, and the local officials are starting to work on a plan to build. Now that's all we're talking about. When is it going to happen? Are we actually going to achieve those goals? So when they come here for a beer, when they come here for dinner, it's usually discussed. Alex says several business owners along with M&T Bank started a quarterly meeting to discuss the impacts of the bridge and how to navigate life without it as they wait for the rebuild to be complete. Kelly Elizabeth.